Alright, so it's been dabbed off a little bit. So, what we did pretty much, we didn't weld it here, we welded it here and here. And I can pretty much remove this, in theory, if I can get those two bolts off, which I might not be able to, but I don't care, it's probably going to stay there. The front bumper is bolted on if I need to replace it, and also it's very thin, because it's not the best to weld with. These lights are supposedly water resistant. You can see, pretty strong. I can, I could lift it with two hands, but I don't. I need, I could lift it, but I need two hands. Let's see if I can find one of my mounts. Oh, there's the start of the camera mount. There we go. But you can see, I just lifted it with the bumper, so it's holding up. Now, what was going wrong, well, let me explain the wiring. The red wire with the fuse, which is right there, is hooked up here. And the white wire goes to the lights, and this black wire is ground for the switch, so it can light up. Now, the white wire comes here, but you can look in there and see all the extra white wire. I have a short somewhere up here. So it's been working. I'm told by my dad that black is positive and white is negative. But the power is white. So, but it's been working with black to white. But I'm going to try it real quick with white to black. I meant to say white to white, black to black. So I had the negatives hooked up. Oh, I grounded it right here at the mount for the governor. So that's that part. Now, I'm going, since, what I did when I tried to test it, it wouldn't turn on, so I took this off, and the wires inside, the the wire was hot. So, and then I disconnected this, once the wire cooled down, it didn't get hot again once I turned this off, I turned it on. So I'm going to put this back on, and do that, alright, let's see, it's going to be fun with one hand. Alright, I'm sorry, I had to put this down. So as you can just see, I put the ground wire for the switch right there. Now I need to poke this down, if I can, so that it doesn't get pinched when I screw it in. That's good. So, that comes on, and the lights work. Yes. Mwahaha. All right. So apparently, white is positive, and black is, ne is negative. So that's pretty bright. That'll be significant in off-roading. They're halogens. They are 55 watts each. So that's a hold a total of 10 or 110. I'm fine with that. So this lit illuminate switch. Alright, so now I'm gonna go put these tools away in the shed.